This is a really interesting data sufficiency question. My first reaction when I see it is, oh, too bad about the square roots, because if there were no square roots, then the answer would just be 24. And the question I start asking myself is, when you add 24 to a number under the square root, is that going to move the number up the number line by the same amount, regardless of your starting point? I know that that is true without the square root, right? Adding 24 to a number on the number line moves it 24 units to the right. So if you're started at 0, adding 24 puts you at 24. If you started at 10, adding 24 puts you at 34, and so on. So it moves you by a very predictable amount up the number line. Does that also happen when you add the 24 underneath a square root? That's really what this question comes down to for me. So I'm wondering, what if I just imagine that x is 1 versus that x is 100? If x is 1, then adding 24 would make it 25, and the difference between root 1 and root 25 is 4. On the other hand, if x is 100, adding 24 would make it 124, and the difference between root of 100 and root of 124 is just slightly more than 1. And this lets me know that adding 24 underneath the square root is going to move me up the number line by different amounts, different distances up the number line, depending on how far away from 0 I started. And based on that, I can confidently say that no, I can't figure out by how much the square root of x moves to the right when you turn it into square root of x plus 24 without knowing what the value of x is, because it's going to depend on the value of x, and therefore the correct answer is e. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.